Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you guys are new. I'm Kirsten, and you are watching my channel, Kirsten's Makeup Vanity. Now, my channel is named that for a reason, okay? My vanity is my happy place. It is where I sit down to do my makeup. That is just so relaxing and refreshing to me. It is where I decompress. It is just my favorite place. Now, I've had quite the few vanities. It all started out when I first started with makeup, I sat on the floor in front of a floor length mirror and I did my makeup on the floor. For literal years, I could not sit at a vanity and do my makeup. I had to be sitting on the floor doing my makeup in the mirror or occasionally standing and looking in the mirror to do my makeup if I was in a bit of a rush. But there was no sitting and doing my makeup anywhere other than on the floor. I don't know why I remember when I was doing intricate eye looks, I had to like stand up and get really close to the mirror and be able to see my eyes. But a makeup vanity was just like not in the picture. I didn't care about it. Then fast forward until I got to college and I had my first makeup vanity. I just had a very small makeup vanity in my apartment and I really loved it. Then I've switched to yet another one, which was like an old school, like vintage makeup vanity. It was metal with a glass top and it was nice but then again i went ahead and upgraded to the most recent one that you guys have seen in this room even that was a 50 dollars facebook marketplace find and all of my vanities have been thrifted but i just remember being so excited to actually have a vanity because in a little while in college there i would do my makeup at my desk whether in my dorm or in my first apartment but then when i got the vanity and had like a actual specific place to put my makeup it just started this snowball effect of wanting to find the perfect vanity for myself. So switching up between multiple different types of vanities and multiple different types of organization setups and just layouts in general and aesthetics just being totally different, it really led me to figure out what my perfect vanity would look like. Now, I have been sharing for months now my ideas and hopes and dreams of making a custom vanity out of solid wood. And I do have some experience, a lot of experience flipping furniture. So refinishing, fixing, upcycling, changing, that kind of thing. I have a little bit of experience in building furniture as well. I've never just totally built something like a vanity before by myself, but with the help of an old friend, we have made a lot of projects over the years and I still have them to this day and I'm very proud of them, but the idea and concept of taking on that sort of a project, I will not lie, has been very daunting. Now, I was ready to do it. Like I was, I was really planning it out. I had even drawn what my custom vanity would look like. I have even thought about like what would go in what drawers and everything. But this past weekend, my husband and I went to a thrift store. I have seen so many people talk about this thrift store and kind of weirdly so because I just felt like what is so special about this thrift store and it's kind of far away, but we ended up going to it this past weekend. And I got to say, I was at first very let down. I was kind of going through it very quickly because I was just really not into it and we were about to leave. And then my eyes fell on something special. <laughs> so let me just back up a little bit. When we walked in this thrift store, we noticed that there was a ton of furniture. A lot of furniture flippers and honestly just flippers or resellers in general are scooping up all of the good finds in the thrift stores. Now that's not really what I'm here to comment on, but what I am saying is that it's really hard nowadays or harder than I feel like it ever has been since I've been thrift shopping to find high quality pieces for a decent price, especially for furniture pieces. I have been keeping my eyes peeled every now and then. I've seen many of vintage vanities, many of thrift store vanities, and they've never quite been right. A lot of them need a lot of work. The drawers don't function very well. They're either coated in paint or they would need to be coated in paint. Like the wood would not be salvageable to restore and make look beautiful like I want them to. A lot of them have this like lower piece where you actually sit and that functionality I think would just absolutely drive me insane. A lot of them are very, very squished together. They're very small. They don't have enough storage, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Like there's so much that I look at when I look at a vanity. Now this, to some of you guys, this might sound like a little excessive, but honestly, 
my vanity is my happy place. Like I love to just sit at my vanity. It brings me so much joy. So it makes sense that I would want this piece of furniture to be super high quality and luxe. I had even considered purchasing the West Elm Mid-Century Modern Vanity. I have literally made those drawers out of cardboard to see if the drawer sizes would work for me. I'm not kidding. There's been a lot of thought that has gone into this process and that's why I'm like giving you guys all of the details here because I feel like especially like this is my channel name, like this is what I've named my YouTube channel. And I just wanna share this with you guys. I'm sure some of you guys can understand like the excitement for me right now. We walked into this thrift store. There was a ton of furniture, which is interesting because like I mentioned, all the good furniture is getting scooped up. So we walk up to a couple of the pieces and right away I can see that they're priced very high. They're not priced for furniture flippers who are trying to flip them and make a profit. Now the thrift store knows what they're doing and it was honestly kind of frustrating to see that because this stuff is donated to these thrift stores and then they're selling it for like a large amount of money. And it's my personal opinion that it makes more sense in my mind for those stores to sell products at a reasonable price to move inventory. They're not short on donations, okay? Like this place was stuffed because people aren't buying this stuff. They can drive five minutes to the thrift store down the road and buy things for a literal fourth of the price or less. There was a limit on the amount of books you could buy. And there were signs everywhere that said that the store reserved the right to limit the amount of things that you purchased. Why would you do that? I, I just cannot fathom it. So I was kind of getting fed up in this thrift store because why wouldn't you want to move your product? <laughs> like you got this stuff for free, so why are you being stingy about selling it and selling these pieces for so much money? I just didn't get it, okay? But then we're walking through and we're like, oh, we're ready to go. And then I see a vanity. And I was like, oh my gosh, this is so nice. But it was expensive for a thrift store. <laughs> okay, I'll get to that. So we leave, we go to the car and I'm like, Oh my gosh. So before we pulled out of the parking lot, I pulled up the sketch I just showed you guys. So I'll go ahead and put it here and remind you again what it looked like. So this is the sketch that I had. I've had this drawn for months and months and months of what my perfect vanity would look like. And this is the picture of the vanity or the desk in the thrift store. So needless to say, I had to think about this decision. <laughs> and I mean, it was like, perfect okay i know a good quality piece of furniture when i see it this is solid wood it is finished very well very very pretty it's so sturdy that everything is so well made <laughs> it is very nice now the price on this and keep in mind i live in the united states but the price on this was 150 dollars and that's super expensive for a thrift store, especially the thrift stores that I've been to. Now I know like Goodwills is like gouging their prices, but at local thrift stores, not Goodwills, I feel like usually the prices are a lot lower than that. For comparison, I flipped a desk for my friend and it's a super, super nice like solid wood desk again. I paid like 10 or $15 for that desk a couple of years ago to flip for her. And it was like, I mean, it's a nice desk and she still uses it. I flipped a dining room table for the same friend that I paid $5 for and flipped it solid wood, okay? Like usually thrift stores, at least the ones that I've been to, and I've been to a lot, okay? But usually the thrift stores that I've been to, like they price stuff to sell because they have so many donations. Like every single day they're getting donations of stuff and they can sell that stuff. So to me, it just makes sense to price it a little bit lower. But clearly this thrift store like wants to keep their stuff for people that are wanting special pieces, just like I was looking for. Now, I would never pick up this project to flip it and sell it to someone else because I probably can't sell this for $150, <laughs> to be honest. People just don't pay that much for furniture, I feel like, anymore. Yeah, so I bought it for $150 because it was literally so close to my perfect vanity drawing. And there were a couple holdups as far as making my perfect vanity that I probably wasn't going to be able to actually create the vanity exactly like I was thinking in my head. There are a couple expensive power tools that we don't have that I would have to invest in. Just the lumber would have cost at least $300 to create the vanity just in, in lumber and nothing else. So the fact that I got this entire vanity for $150, I felt like was very worth it. Now, let me give you the rundown of this vanity because... 
there are a lot of features on it. Now I am going to go ahead and overlay some footage of just getting this vanity together because it was a pain and I will tell you guys about that. So basically when we saw this vanity we realized it was a very deep vanity. I'm gonna have to get used to that to be honest but overall I think it's huge in a positive way for me because the drawers have so much storage. You pull them out a little bit and it seems like a normal drawer and then it's basically double that. You can keep pulling it out. It's super nice. It has a ton of storage. I'm gonna be able to keep like extra backup products in there. And I am just so excited about it because I actually don't have a lot of storage, especially in this room. So it's gonna be really nice to have that in this vanity. So it had that, it's all solid wood. It is like so well made. This piece is so, so heavy as well. It is finished really nicely. It has very minimal scuffs and bumps and all of that. I don't think that it was a company made. I think a person made this vanity. It doesn't have like a logo inside of any of the drawers, which again is a telltale sign of like who made it. Also the top had this like nice beveled rounded edge exactly like I wanted. I love it. It's even an acorn color. It's a little bit more of like a yellowish red than I would probably choose if I were to start from scratch, but it matches the mirror on the wall perfectly and it's actually pretty exact to the same color as the vanity I had in here before. And that vanity is a piece of crap, okay? It is such bad quality, the one I had in here before. It was composite board, it was wobbly, it was it was not, not well made. And I got that off of, off of Facebook Marketplace for like 50 bucks, which is kind of expensive for that piece to be completely honest, but it has served me well, okay? I have to give it that. And it was definitely an upgrade as far as size goes where I could fit my drawers on it. But I don't even need those drawers anymore. I'm not sure if they're gonna stay in the background or not, but they're totally empty. I put all the makeup in the vanity. But we got the vanity home and it would not fit in this room. So the door into this room is actually pretty narrow and it is a few inches more narrow than other doors, like a front door or just a larger inside door for your house. Yeah, so we could not fit the vanity in this room. And there's like a little alcove right here when you first walk in the door. I'll try to put a little clip of it here, but the vanity would not fit. And you guys, I was so upset because this was like my perfect vanity. How am I not gonna use it if I can't get in this room? Well, that was not an option. If you guys know me, I am very determined and I will work very hard for it. So we thought about everything. Now, before you ask, you cannot take the legs off this vanity because they are turned into the corner pieces of the wood of this vanity. Like there is no taking the legs off. They do not unscrew or anything. They are attached. They are a piece of the vanity which is super nice, but it would have been a lot more convenient if I could just unscrew those legs, slide this vanity in the room and then screw them back on. Not an option. I did consider like how heartbreaking it would be to have to cut the legs off and then reattach them as a more traditional like store-bought leg. I don't wanna have to do that though because the fact that these are never gonna just be like wobbly little legs is so nice. I mean, this is so well made. So then I started going through all the options. How hard is it to take the door frame off the door? I don't think I really wanna do that. I've never done that before, but I imagine it would not be a good idea and not be fun to have to take off, put back on. So we even took the door off the hinges to try and add a little bit of space, which definitely helped. We would not have been able to get it in here at all if we had not taken the door off. That was the, we did that before we even tried to pull the vanity in though. It was just a total mess. We tried it this way, that way, every way. And this thing is heavy, so this was a lot of work. We even lifted it up so that it wasn't running into the molding on the bottom of the wall, everything. So ultimately what we had to do was take off the top piece of the vanity. All in all, we were able to take the vanity apart. So I was able to take all the drawers out, take off the bottom piece from underneath the drawers, and then take the very top off of the vanity. That was almost perfect. It still was not fitting by about half of an inch. So there's like a brace around the vanity and I was able to take off just one piece. So then we were able to get it in here and I had to put it all back together. So honestly, like my hands hurt so bad because those screws were in there like very, very well. So I got in the room, cleaned it really well, cleaned all the drawers and started putting it back together now. And honestly, just seeing this come together getting the old vanity out of here and seeing that composite board piece of garbage leave, I shouldn't be that mean, like it honestly did really serve its purpose, but it was just not very well made. So seeing that composite board piece of furniture leave this room and this one entering it has just been perfect because this drawer has like two little kind of tabletop sliders that come out 
over the drawers, which I'm currently using one right now. I was just filming the video that went live on Wednesday about things I've made. So I was able to set the stuff right here and be able to talk about it. And then I can push this in when I don't need it anymore, which is really great for floor space in here when I'm filming specifically, which I know that's like a very unique need if you're not filming videos, but I'm so excited about that. Of course, it has many, many drawers for lots of storage. These drawers are pretty deep as well. So for the most part, all my products can stand up in them. If you've been watching my channel, you know that that's something that's important to me. Also, these drawers have already got grooves for dividers in them, which is huge for makeup storage. I can either cut some more dividers out of wood or my husband does have a 3D printer. And so I might ask him to make me some on the 3D printer. We'll see. But... I am so excited about this vanity. So it definitely is going to take some getting used to just because it is such a deep piece of furniture. So I'm sitting very far back from the mirror that I have on the wall. So I'm gonna have to get a tabletop little mirror to be able to use to see like more detailed stuff. I do have this little handheld mirror in the meantime, which is helpful for things like that. So, you know, it's not the end of the world, but I do wanna get something that can kind of stand up to where I don't always have to be holding the mirror to do my makeup. That is the vanity. I'm so excited to share this with you guys. This is something that I've been just so excited about. And when I saw it, I just knew that it was perfect. Find what I wanted to make. Like this is like essentially what I had dreamt up in my mind. It was perfect. It was ready to literally just wipe it down and use it. I'm honestly really excited about it. And I cannot wait to get all of my makeup organized in exactly how I want it. So I did actually film some footage of putting the makeup in the drawers initially. I will probably be switching it up. I will definitely be switching it up, but I'll definitely share with you guys once I get the makeup exactly how I want it to. But today I just wanna walk through and like put the products in the vanity with you guys. So the drawers you're actually seeing behind me at this point are empty, like I said. So you guys are gonna see me put the makeup in the drawers and just wait till you see how much extra room I have in the drawers that I'm not even going to be using, which is just so, so exciting. And no, I do not plan to buy a bunch more makeup to fill it up. I want to keep it minimal. So I'm just over the moon excited about this piece of furniture. It's going to take just some adjusting just because it's new, but I always feel that way about a new vanity because it is such a like place of comfort for me that when it changes, it takes me a minute, but I'm really excited about it and I'm really excited to share this with you guys. So let's go ahead and jump to the footage of actually putting the makeup in the vanity. Okay, so for starters in this drawer, I think I want to start with my complexion products. I did kind of play around with the drawers earlier, just enough to see that this drawer can actually fit one of my taller foundations and it will still close. But for some reason, the drawer on the left side on the top is slightly shorter so I cannot fit this in there. So as much as I wanted the top left drawer to house primers, foundations, concealers, and that sort of thing, it's not gonna work out that way. So I'm thinking I'll put them here, but I might, I might switch it up. I'm not sure yet. So for now, let's go ahead and just put everything in here. I'm sure this is gonna change like a lot before I get it exactly how I want it. But I think for now, at least just seeing them all and kind of like feeling how I want to reach for them will be easy enough to work with. Oh, you know what though? Some of these are actually in my current Shop My Stash and I don't want to mix the products up because I'm still currently using my Shop My Stash rotation. So I'm actually just going to pull from the products in my main collection. So currently this drawer has all of my foundations and concealers that aren't in my Shop My Stash and my setting sprays, which I don't think they're gonna stand up unless I put them in the very bottom drawer that's taller, but I think I wanna reserve that one for eyeshadows as of now. I don't know, we're gonna just like play around and see how I want it, but I care more about foundation standing up than I do setting sprays because I find that setting sprays don't leak as much. So I think it'll be okay. And then like the Purito BB cream, that one's gonna have to lay down. I'll probably also get drawer liners because this drawer and the bottom one on the left do have a little bit of like staining in the bottom. 
a little bit of it came up when I was cleaning it out, but I'm sure it's been there for a long time and it seems like ink or something spilled. So that's not really wanting to come out, but all things considered with how old this desk probably is, there's really not a ton of damage to it. So I think I'll probably just end up putting some like really pretty liners in the drawer to kind of break up the wood tones as well. But for now, I'm just going to use it as is. Okay, so that takes care of this drawer. And I think I would actually probably want to put face powders in this drawer as well. I'm not, not 100% on that though. I don't have a ton of face powders, honestly. So I just have the RCMA one and then two pressed powders other than the one I'm currently using in my Shot My Stash. And then I just have one other primer also not in my Shot My Stash. So for now, I think that, that would work. And then let's move over to the left drawers so we can put the rest of like the face and lip products away because I kind of, I don't know. Now that I'm thinking about it, like I really want to put my eyeshadows in here, but even with it being a deeper drawer, like my eyeshadow palettes aren't very large. So I don't know that I actually need to use them in this. And if I can fit everything in the other drawers, I'll actually probably use this as like an extra storage drawer for my desk over there because the desk doesn't really have any storage. I have a couple tiny drawers that my husband made for me up top, but this one, we're gonna have to play around and see if I actually need it for makeup or not. These drawers also come out like really far. So I could always add more products in the back there, but I'm gonna start for now just filling up the front portion of the drawers as they're more accessible. I feel like I would definitely want dividers for my cheek products. So I'm gonna go ahead and try and put the cheek products in this drawer, I think. I'm just trying to figure out like where I want everything. I'm trying to figure out like, do I wanna put my eye products in this little drawer? Because I don't really have a lot of eye stuff that's not eyeshadow palettes. And then other than that, I just have cheek products and eyeshadow palettes. I might do that. Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and put the cheek products in here and we might put the eye products in this smaller drawer. I can definitely already tell I'm gonna have a lot more room in these drawers, which is super nice. So I think, oh my gosh, that's perfect. Okay, so I think I'm gonna put my cream products actually in this and then keep my powder highlights over there. And then the bronzers will be able to go in here. Out if I want everything standing up like this because I can't exactly see the colors. I think I'm gonna swap this. I'm gonna put blushes here and then bronzers in the middle. I know I have a couple of cream blushes that are in compacts like this, but when I'm thinking about cream products, I'm mostly thinking about stuff like that um, just because it's a little bit more of like a liquidy product, but I am gonna keep the cream bronzer there. I feel like with blushes, they're more versatile about how you can actually use them. And I might end up using another divider in here as well. But for now, at least I can see the different shades. And oh my gosh, you can't see anything I was just doing. Okay, I ended up swapping it up a little bit. So I put the blushes in this front category so I could kind of see the different colors because I do have these like two different MAC blushes. I have the same packaging if you look at them like this. So in this section, they're a little harder to see but when I move them up to the front, I can at least see the different colors and then have the bronzers, which I really know based on their packaging, like what brand they are, because I don't have any two from the same line. And then I have my cream products here and powder highlights here. So I think that would work. And I have a lot of room in here to grow as well. Like it's definitely not stuffed. And again, the drawer will come out a lot more if I ever need it to. I would also probably put face palettes in here. So I actually think I will put them in with my blushes just because there's plenty of room for them to go there. So I don't have any more dividers now. I just had the three that came with the desk. So I'll definitely have to make more one way or the other, but I still have this little container 
from my current storage. So I'm gonna go ahead and put lip products in here. And I think I'll go ahead and put bullet lipsticks in this container. a ton more room for lipsticks so I would find a way to actually be able to lay all these out but I don't want them to all just be like totally loose so until I have some more dividers I will just kind of leave them like this I think but I have all my glosses lined up here bullet lipsticks are here and then kind of everything else is right here which is a lot of like lip crowns and taller lip products a couple liquid lipsticks and then more chapstick type products so I think that that will work for now the only thing I might do Oh, you know what? I should swap these two because I use these a lot more. Okay, I think that actually makes a lot more sense so that I can see everything. And there are less of these products here to go in that one. And I could probably even take out these two more like chapstick type products and put them here. So then I have just one flat layer of everything which is so nice. I hate how everything was so cluttered in these little drawers. Like this is definitely such an upgrade to be able to fit all my products. Now in this bottom drawer, I actually wanna try and put my eyeshadow palettes and I think I can fit them all in this drawer. Um, this one, I might have to put stuff in the back, but I do have plans to try and find something to where I can keep several eyeshadow palettes out on the top of the vanity as kind of like a seasonal rotation or monthly rotation or some sort because I don't want them all to be tucked away at all times, but that's kind of what I'm thinking. Now, this is kind of grossing me out right now. So until I get some contact paper to lay on the bottom, I'm just gonna put a piece of paper there. It might not be the prettiest, but I just don't want to put my palettes on that. I did clean it, like it's just stained, but still. I just, I don't know, it's kind of weird. So I actually only have some of my palettes out because I've been putting the other ones in a basket. Every day I'm trying to cycle through my eyeshadow palettes. So I am posting that over on my Instagram if you guys haven't seen it and also on my shorts here on YouTube. But every time I use a new palette, I set it aside so that I can focus on the ones I haven't reached for yet. So that's what I'm gonna be organizing today. But later on, I will be adding all of the rest of the palettes. So already I can tell it's going to get full in this. So I might end up swapping this around to where I have all my eyeshadow palettes in that larger drawer over on the right side. I just feel like if I put palettes in the very back back here, it's just going to be at a disadvantage. Like I'm not going to reach for it as much as I would reach for anything that's up here. So that's kind of why I'm hesitating to use that section right now. I was kind of thinking I would use the back part of the drawers as like extra stuff. So I have like some extra makeup sponges and things like that, like just extra products or things I don't use very often that I could tuck in the back of one of the drawers. But I just want to live with it for a little while and see if I think I'd actually reach for anything if I put it in the back. I just don't want to forget about anything that's in the back of the drawers. But I also might put like my lip products up here in this drawer and then kind of be able to use two different drawers for eyeshadow palettes. So I definitely think that there's going to be a lot of room to rearrange things and figure out how it will work perfectly for me. But for now, those are actually all of the eyeshadow palettes that I haven't used yet. So I think that that will work fine for now. But this is only about half of my palettes. So if I were to put them all right here, it would definitely fit, but it would fill them up. It would fill up this whole drawer and then I would probably not reach for what's on the bottom as easily. So we'll play around with that, but that'll work for now. So all that leaves us with is this middle drawer and I'm just going to put my eye products in here, but you can see I don't have a lot. Um, I do have some single eyeshadows that are in individual pots, but that's it. So honestly, I feel like that's kind of a lot of room for just a few products, but 
That's what my collection looks like, so we'll just kind of go with it. Okay, so basically all those fit right here, even these little cubbies. There are, again, a couple products still in my shop, my stash, but I'm definitely already seeing like how I might could rearrange this. So it's good to see like everything actually in the drawers, but already I could see how I could rearrange it to be better. And I feel like I just need to play around with it some. So I'll definitely like once I get it exactly like I want it, share like a, you know, a good old vanity tour, but it's going to be a while because I do want to find some things to put on the vanity in the meantime. So this is going to be kind of like how it is for now. And I can definitely take some time to figure out like how I like it and what I like about this setup versus what I want to change. But for now, I just went ahead and put all of my extra eye products right here that aren't eyeshadow palettes. I also have room to put this kind of stuff in here. So these are empty palettes when I want to create like little custom palettes with my Cleona shadows from the larger palette that I got. So I plan to use those for shot my stashes. Then I have this makeup poof, which I can also keep here in this drawer and it's easily accessible. And I can also keep my little handheld mirror in here that I use sometimes when I'm filming. And I usually always have a hair tie not far away. So definitely a little bit more like functional versus pretty and it doesn't have a lot of actual makeup products, but I feel like for now this would work. The thing I'm trying to remind myself of when I'm putting things away is like they might not be like the quickest to reach for in comparison to what I'm used to with stuff being on the vanity, but I tend to use my shop my stash bin throughout the week anyways. So when I'm actually reaching into the drawers is when I A, have more time like on the weekends if I'm gonna be filming something or like taking more time to get ready or B, when I'm creating the shop my stash and that's not a problem to have to open up every single drawer and look in it. So I feel like this is just gonna be so nice because I have been feeling a little bit stuffed <laughs> in my makeup collection. Like all of the products have been a little bit overflowing out of almost all of the drawers especially when I have to put all of my makeup back in there and I'm not actively using a shot my stash rotation. So this is really exciting to just have a bunch of extra room, which I figured I would. And I honestly feel like I could probably fit my whole collection in like one or two of the drawers if I needed to, especially two if I was including eyeshadow palettes. So the fact that I haven't reached into the backs of any of the drawers is really nice just to know that I do have some extra storage there, especially if I ever wanted to use that for non-makeup things as well. I will never pass on extra storage because it is hard to come by sometimes. So I'm really excited about this. I think that's going to kind of wrap up the drawer setup for now. I'm gonna kind of organize the top of the vanity just a little bit. And then I think at least for the time being, we'll be good to go and use it. Okay, so now I've cleared out all of the drawers from the Ikea Mope drawers over there, but I still have my shot, my stash. Now I'm used to putting everything like in the very back on the corner. So I'm going to have to figure out like, is it going to look weird if I don't push things all the way back? Like how could I kind of make that work? Because if I push my shot, my stash drawers all the way to the back, then I can't reach them because comfortably my arm reaches like about right here and I wouldn't be able to reach them. This desk is like super, super deep all the way back, which is great. It's I'm never going to run out of room on this, which is going to be so, so nice for filming too, because my previous vanity, it was large enough, but I had all of my makeup on the vanity itself. And so it ran out of room really quick, especially when filming, it would get so cluttered. And so I feel like this is going to be super helpful for that. And also when I'm at my desk, I can have more room to use, you know, this vanity as well. So I'm really excited for that. So for now, I'm going to leave everything kind of like it was, but just a little bit more spaced out, which is just going to be interesting to get used to. And it's definitely going to take some time to get used to as well. And I'm going to keep my Mopé drawers on the top there just for a little while, even though they're empty, because I don't have anything else to put there. I feel like I need something in my background. I don't know. Maybe I should take it off just to like get used to not having it. I will have to rehang the mirror as well to like be halfway you know, across the vanity, but I have spent literally my entire weekend on this thing because it was such a pain to get in this room and I had to deep clean it and, you know, get my old vanity out and it just like literally took almost the whole weekend. Okay, so here's what it's currently looking like. You guys can see <laughs> that's how I am able to see what is going on, but 
wow I am just gonna have to get used to this I really like it though it's nice that it's so spacious and empty right now it's a lot of like wood tones so eventually I'll probably refinish this but not anytime soon to be honest because it is such a pain to get in and out of this room and it's cold outside and I do not have time to do that or figure out how to do that in the cold. You're really not supposed to refinish furniture with certain products when it's so cold outside. So for now, this is what it's going to look like. I am very, very happy with this find overall. I'm so excited to just figure out which setup works better, make several more dividers and just be able to use this all the time. So I'm really excited for it, but thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.